In this presentation, we will enter data into our earnings record from the payroll register. Here's our earnings record. We're going to have four employees. We have frozen the panes up top so we can see the panes uh, are not moving from lines one, two, and three. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. And we have four employees that we're gonna be dealing with. Judy Jones, scrolling back up, Jill Jackson, uh, Cindy Lewis, and Anthony Moore. We're gonna pull this information from I'm scrolling to the left from the payroll register. The difference between the two, we wanna keep straight. The payroll register is gonna emphasize the pay period. In this case, the months, we're gonna be paying people monthly and then have the employees per pay period per month in this case. Whereas the earnings records is gonna emphasize first the employees and then the pay period. So it's basically same information, just flipped. So now we have the employee being uh, the, the primary source of each earnings record. And then the pay periods, in this case, we're paying monthly uh, related to that employee. So what we're gonna do then is just create the earnings record from the payroll register. Uh, so if we scroll back over to the payroll register, we're gonna scroll down to the month of December. That's gonna be the current month we need to put in place. Note that this will give the current data for each of uh, our employees for the current month. And that's kind of enough to create the paycheck because it will end up here with the net pay. And uh, that's what uh, we'll give to the employees. However, it doesn't give the employees detail in terms of how much we've taken year to date. So that's the information that's not on the payroll register, which will be on the earnings records. And that's why we need to reformat this data. So all we're gonna do then is take this information for each employee and put it into the earnings record. Same, it's gonna be the same data, but we're gonna then transform it or transpose it to the earnings record. So first, the first employee is gonna be Anthony Moore. We're just gonna take the same data and put it up into the earnings record for Anthony Moore. So if we scroll up, we're gonna to to do some scrolling here. We'll learn a little bit on Excel to the earnings record. So here's the earnings record. And I'm in AB8, so AB8 for Anthony Moore. We're just gonna fill out all this data. The, the way this is formatted is that the columns will all be the same. So all we have to do is just use formulas to pull this number over. So we're gonna be over here in Anthony Moore. So here's the earnings record for Anthony Moore. We're in cell AB8, where we will say equals, and then scroll to the left, and scroll down and we're looking for December. So December, here's uh, the first M. I'm just gonna pull over that marital status for December and enter. So I'm gonna scroll over a little bit. So there we have it. Now, if we copy and paste that over, it'll just copy and paste the relative references. So uh, I'm gonna right click and copy that. Right click and copy. We're gonna put it in the uh, cells to the right of it, all the way over to net pay and then right click and paste it, the formulas. We wanna paste the formulas. If we paste it, the, the main one, then it will uh, overwrite the formulas. And so, and if we paste it, that won't work. So we wanna do the formulas only. And there we have it. So now we've pulled over all this information and it'll tell us one, uh, what the information is per pay period, what the regular pay is, what the overtime pay is, overtime uh, and total earnings. It'll tell us how much was taken out for OASDI, HI, FIT, group insurance, and it'll give us the net check, but also give us the year to date numbers. So here's where we're at year to date after that, um, this last component. So that's gonna be important. That's why we're doing this. We're gonna do this for the next employee. Same thing, there's four of them. Cindy Lewis, 
We're just going to pull over that data to the December area for Cindy Lewis. So we are in AB15 where we will say equals, scroll to the left. I'm going to go all the way down to December and we're going to pull over that M for Cindy Lewis and enter. So we just pulled over this data in B34. Then we're just going to copy that. I'm going to right click on it and copy it, put it to the cell to the right, go all the way to the end, let go, right click, and we're going to paste the formulas. So there are the formulas. And once again, we get the net pay for that pay period, but also year to date net pay and, and year to date and that pay period for everything else as well. <laughs> so let's do that again, Jill Jackson. And so here's Jill Jackson's the employee. We're in AB22, we're gonna say equals. We're gonna go to the left, scroll down, December, there's Jill Jackson. We're pulling this S in B35 and enter. And then we'll just copy that, right click and copy and put that in the area to the right where we will right click and paste the formulas. So again, that'll give us the year to date total and the total for that pay period. And we'll do this one more time for our last employee, our the big earner, uh, J Judy Jones. Okay, so we're in here in AB29, we're gonna say equals, go to the left and go down. We're looking for Judy Jones on M and enter. Then we're just gonna copy that M, right click and copy and put it to the cells to the right and right click and paste formulas only. And that'll give us that data and the year to date data. So, so remember what the goal here is on these two records, they can be confusing because they look, they're, you know, it's the same data, it's just reorganized. This is gonna be in order by um, employee and then pay period, in this case, months. And that's gonna be the earnings record. This is the earnings record. And then this is the payroll register, which is in order by pay period and then by employee.